Hi guys, how's it? It is Friday. Once again, finally, we made it through the week. One more run into the office for me today. Had to put it back on because it's Friday and it's game weekend. Got to let everybody in my office know what's up. Um, most of them are, are, are European, German guys, so not really big on rugby, unfortunately. But I still got to represent all the time when I'm out and about here in North Texas. Let everybody know, hey, I backed the box. But uh, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for the subscriptions, likes, comments, all that kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. Like I always say, you guys uh, make me keep doing these things because it seems that you guys kind of care about my opinion. Some of you like it, some of you don't. But either way, I like all the feedback, whether it's uh, positive or negative feedback. So I had done the video the other day about the Springbok lineup for the game against the Wallabies. Uh, if any of you guys caught my short last night, uh, I was on my way home after work, and um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to bust out laughing again, but yes, um, yeah, starting at 10, Quaid, Santini, Cooper. I feel like Dave Rennie is old Mother Hubbard, and only Cooper is in the cupboard. Um, I don't, I don't want to go out and, you know, people say, oh, you know, I, I just don't like Quaid Santini Cooper. Just don't like the guy. I don't like the way he plays. He was on my most hated list. I just, yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel like there's a reason you play in Japan, dude, and it's not just because you're making heaps of, heaps of yen over there. Um, it's because I don't think anybody in Super Rugby really wants you anymore. But, uh, yeah, lineup came out. Uh, you know, you got some pretty normal names. Obviously, Michael Hooper is uh, is captaining the side. I actually like that guy. I think he's a really good player. Um, Angus Bell, Falofanga, uh, Alan Alatoa. Uh, I like him, and I like his brother. They're both uh, Samoan descent boys, but uh, his brother plays for Samoa. He plays for Australia. Uh, Isaac Rota, Matt Phillip, um, Swinton, Michael Hooper captaining at seven. Valentini at 8, Tate McDermott at 9, uh, Kiribati at 11. I actually like Kiribati quite a bit, too. I think he's a pretty pretty good wing. Um, Karivi. God. That guy's a beast. He's a big, big old hoss. Um, but, yeah, Kellaway, Tom Banks, and uh, Nick White coming in reserve. Reese Hodge. Uh, yeah, Tupo, all those guys, just kind of all the reserves guys. I don't, uh, I don't know if, uh, if Dave Rennie is, um, if this is a shot of desperation. Is it the hope that uh, maybe you know, Quaid Santini Cooper might jumpstart some things? Although, I don't really think so. Um, it should be a great game, regardless. I just, last night when I got that Quaid Santini Cooper, yeah, I had to make it. I was, I was it was funny to me just because, like, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't think it was going to be against the Springboks. I'm like, oh, they'll put them out there for those Argentina games where they might actually have a chance to uh, to win the game a bit. But, um, yeah, I, I'll i stick to my previous idea that I think that, you know, the Wallabies are a can, you know, pressure is building up, and they're going to, to burst out at some point. But I just don't think it's going to be with this particular lineup on the field. Um I was really hoping for James O'Connor to start at that 10 jersey. I actually, like I said, I like that guy a lot. I think he's a hungry player. You know, he's been in and out of the jersey for a while with them. And I think he's one of those guys just, man, go out there and give him a chance. Let him do his thing, man. Let him prove himself a bit, you know. Um, you know, and there's very few things I would wish on my enemies. Um, you know, I would never wish for anybody to be the starting quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys because you're going to be under a thousand bits of scrutiny live in North Texas and I hear it all the time and I don't think I would ever want anybody to ever have to coach the Wallabies because you're looking at a team that has to face the first or second best team to the east of them every year and the first or second best team to the west of them it's like you can't you can't win like it's it's you know this is another reason why I think Southern Hemisphere rugby is so much better because I mean how often do you see the one and two in the six nations you don't hardly ever. You see it a lot in the rugby championship. You see number one and two a lot in the rugby championship. So 
Um, that's why I'm glad that we're back in this tournament. It's our way to kind of prove, hey guys, we, uh, we're number one for a reason. And I guess we will continue with that battle this coming weekend. Uh, 5 a.m. local start time here. I'm going to try and get up and watch the match and then do a, a post-game video. I'm really hoping for a victory, obviously, because you have to. It's you know, the Bach. But uh, I, I also hope that, you know what, Australia, make it interesting. Make us have to, like, do some things. Um, but I think we match up really well against them because what they do well offensively, I think we, we countermatch defensively just as good. Uh, we, we're going to slow their game down. They're a really big ball-in-hand team. We're going to keep that away. We're going to try and control the movement of the game. And uh, I, mean, I, I do think we get the win. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of, you know, I, I, I'm trying to stop from laughing about the whole – Quaid Santini Cooper thing. It's not really, don't really get why he's dressed. But anywho, uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. Gonna try and get up and watch the Curry Cup final tomorrow. Uh, I'll put my Bulls jersey on and support. Um, and uh, obviously, we've got the USA and Canada tomorrow evening uh, from Colorado. And hopefully, uh, the USA can kind of make a, make a show out of it. Gary Gold can get some things together. Um, but I hope everybody has a great weekend. I hope it gets warmer wherever you're at. You can get out. You can get a bag of charcoal or some briquettes. Get the Weber out. The Weber. The Weber out. And uh, do a barbecue or a braai for uh, any safas out there. But, um, yeah, got to head into the office one last time for the week, and then I will be free. Um, but everybody have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Cheers, guys.